Alright, so I learned that the average person watching the Harry Potter premiere for the past two installments was 20 years old. And then since most of you guys in this room are a little bit older or a little bit younger than 20, I'm guessing that most of you have seen the movie, if not you've read the books. And one scene that stuck out to me, since I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, is that when Harry, Ron, and Hermione were in the secured vault at the Gringotts Bank, there was a spell placed over all the items inside. So anything that they touched would multiply, and then they would be stuck with 50 gold diamonds and sparkling rubies instead of just one. And I thought that would be awesome if the money in my bank could do the same thing. And I think most of you guys would think the same thing because I noticed that more than half of you use saving money as a motivation for us as an audience to listen and learn from your demonstration speeches. So in this speech, I'm going to teach you how to take the money that you save by sewing on your own buttons or making your own coffee, and then multiply the money by investing in the stock market. Most people view it as a big risk factor, and there is, but I'm going to teach you how to identify if the company is publicly sold, if it's worth buying by reading and understanding the different values and prices, and lastly, how to avoid the risk factor. So. First thing you have to do is go to a site that talks about stock. You can do that Yahoo, AOL, there's even smaller ones like Scott Trade. I prefer MSN Money just because it's one that I'm familiar with and I know. And then you have to choose a company. Always choose a company that you support and you think your friends and other people support because without customers there's no company at all. So one place that I know that I spend a lot of my money at is Chick-fil-A. So I would type in Chick-fil-A, but as you can see, the information for Chick-fil-A is not available. That's because I already know that Chick-fil-A is a private company. What I'm looking for is something called a ticker symbol. A ticker symbol is just an abbreviated um, chain of letters, basically, for a company that shows that it's a public company and you can't buy stock. So I'm going to go to another one that I know exists, and it's another place that I spend lots of my money at, and I know millions of people around the world spend tons of money there too, and that's Disneyland. And as you can see, it's got the ticker symbol, DIS, it's a public company. So, so first part is done. I can officially buy stock. But now I know that I can buy the stock, I need to figure out if I should buy the stock. So one thing I can see is that $42.35 $42 is the price of stock right now for, for Disney company. One thing that you need to know is that stock fluctuates all day long. It changes constantly. And the numbers right here, luckily they're green, which is what we want to see. And it shows that the um, change, change in stock. So it went up today from its opening 12 cents or 0.28%. Now most people want to see the green signs, that way it shows that it's going up and if you had already owned stock in that company, you would be making a profit. I don't get too worried if it's a red symbol because that means it's cheaper for you to buy and also when it will go up. Companies fluctuate all the time and then I can sell it for a higher price and make more money. But there's also things you need to look at like the details. So here we have the just basic information of the day that it closed which was Friday because it closed, it's not open Saturday and Sunday. So it was $42.24. And then today's open, which was $42.53, and I can tell you that I checked the stock this morning, and it dropped. Earlier, when I checked today, it was $42.85, which was today's high, and now it's back down to $42.36. So if I had bought, I would have lost money right now, but if I sold earlier this morning at 8 o'clock, then I would, have, I would have made money. And there's also things that you want to check, like the number of people investing and buying this stock for the volume. So there's 3.94 million people or stocks that have been trading hands. The other thing you need to check is the chart. And they give you really nice charts that just lay everything out super easy. One second. Basically just going to show the fluctuation. This is just for today. But what I like to look at is the six months. And you can see how it's been rising. So if I bought down here, I would have made more money. And then let's go to five years. Oh, interesting little fact, if you see this, everyone knows that this recession that we've all been fussing about took place in um, 
2008, October, November, and it went to the beginning of January of 2009. And you can see that's where the biggest drop was. And it starts to rise. So, and these are just other things you can look at. One other thing, let's go to Apple. All the companies are gonna be the same. One thing you want to um, also try and avoid is the gambling portion of it. That's what everyone's afraid of. There's easy ways to do that. One is to do your research like we did. We read and we understood how, how the company works and what's, what are the different prices that they, they go at. But the other thing you need to check is also the um, news portion of it. For instance, I bought Apple stock right before Steve Jobs died. Now, everyone thought that was going to be a risky move because there were so many different articles saying that Steve Jobs, without him, because they're a brilliant messiah, the Apple company wouldn't have the same products. So people who already owned the stock began to sell, and it dropped. That's when I bought. And now it rose over $200. So I practically doubled my profits. There's also other things that you need to look at. Of course, it's don't put all of your money into one company. You don't put all the money that you have into any companies at all. The other thing is to set goals. So depending on what you're looking at, you can set goals. For instance, a cheaper one to go to is McDonald's. Set goals. And then for the smaller prices, if they're, it's under $10 to buy, I do 10% raise in my stock before I sell. And that's, and that's how I would decide when to sell and make my money. And then, so basically in this speech, I taught you guys how to, I taught you guys how to invest in the stock market by deciding the company is, is publicly sold, how to read and understand and see if you should buy it, and of course how to avoid the gambling portion and the game line factors of it. And it might not be as easy as it was in Harry Potter just with the magic of touching it, but you can definitely make money if you do it properly. Thank you.